everyone, I'm Gregory. That's Gatsby. And again, we have Harley with us. Today, as you see, I got these uh, two dog leashes around my neck. That's because we are at the dog park. Uh, guys, I thought I'd take a moment here to kind of go through uh, some kind of common sense at the dog park and just some things that people don't really consider or think about. Um, here at our local dog park, uh, it's about a walk away from me, so that's uh, nice. I decided to bring Harley with me just because um, I didn't think anyone's going to be here this morning. I was right, there is no other dog. So it gives Gatsby someone to uh, run around with. Oh, and there they go. But uh, yeah, so some things that a lot of people don't think about is uh, they like to use the dog park to burn energy for the dogs. Uh, that might be great for physical energy, but the dog's mental energy is still going to be there. So if you have a dog that likes to chew, a dog that's constantly jumping, getting into things, that's because they need to be mentally stimulated. So something to consider is maybe before coming to the dog park, take them for a short walk or bring them to uh, the dog park, then walk them afterwards. Um, one thing though, with those high energy dogs that uh, you think you're just gonna burn their energy at the dog park, it could cause problems. A dog that has a lot of energy when around other dogs can be posed as a threat or just kind of unstable. And just like you and I, if we're hanging around people that are unstable, we kind of want to avoid them. So that has the potential to create fights within the dog park which can lead to aggression and just a whole slew of other messes. So I like to walk to my dog parks or what I'll do is if I'm gonna to go to one that I have to drive to, I will stop, park as far away as possible to get out to kind of walk, to get Gatsby into the right state of mind before going into the park. He is high energy, he does like to bounce and to jump. And it's great when we get to the park and we do have other high energy dogs because then they match each other's energy and you'll see that he tends to gravitate toward them. Harley, on the other hand, she's an older dog. She's more laid back. Uh, she'll still play and she'll still tussle, but uh, for the most part, she just wants to sniff and kind of enjoy the free roam, the space. Um, so that, that kind of covers just the base of showing up to the dog park. Um, now, most dog parks I know of have a two gate system. There's an indoor and an outdoor, and both the in and out have two gates to them. So the whole purpose of this is you walk through the first gate with your dog. You close the gate. Guys, I don't know how many times I've seen people leave that gate open and dogs just bolt out, leave the dog park. It's not their owner's fault. It's the person who came in and decided not to close the gate. Um, I've had to help people chase down their dogs. I've had to help people try and wrestle up uh, like loose dogs. Not all that fun. So again, you open up the first gate, you come in. If you're entering the dog park, that is where you're gonna take off your leash. Uh, one of the rules at our dog parks are you no know, prong collars or spike collars. So the new collar that Gatsby has, I've taken that off because that's part of the rules. Uh, then once that's done, the dog's ready to go, you open up the second gate and you can let them run free, have their fun. When it's time to leave, it's the exact opposite. You can either put your leash on while they're in the park. I won't because I have uh, the prong collar that's not supposed to be in here. So I'll crowd them into the out gate, close the gate behind me. They'll get leashed up and then we'll leave. And it's a simple process. You just keep making sure that the gates are closed behind you and that's gonna make it a lot more friendly and enjoyable for everyone else to enjoy the dog park. Now, I touched on the rule of no spike and prong collars. Uh, we do have a long list of uh, rules. This is what the sign looks like when you come into the park. Um, you guys can pause it, take a quick look. More or less it says, if your dog doesn't have a rabies or vac uh, vaccine, don't come into the park. If you have a female dog in heat, so Harley's fixed, Gatsby's fixed, doesn't matter, um, don't bring them into the park because a dog in heat is going to create all the other dogs to go a little crazy, especially the male dogs there. Um, if your dog's sick, don't come into the park. Your job is to be responsible with your dog. So keep an eye on them. So I'm constantly looking away because I'm making sure that I keep an eye on Gatsby, keep an eye on Harley. Uh, both of them have already done their business before we got to the park. But as a responsible owner, if your dog goes to the bathroom at the dog park, it's not a free-for-all. You don't just leave it there. You pick it up. You don't want to step in it. No one else here wants to step in it. And you definitely don't want a dog stepping in it, especially if you drove here. Nobody wants dog poop in their vehicle. Check out my other videos. It's not a fun time, man. So that's kind of the basis of that aspect. Huh? That's just kind of... See, we can get them tussling. Harley's seven years old. She still got it. So anyways, guys. So that's kind of the basis there. Uh, some of the other things uh, to keep in mind is, yeah, it's great to socialize your dog at the dog park, 
especially if your dog already gets along with other dogs or if you have a young pup. But something else to keep in mind is you're going to be social too, but like I said, it's still your responsibility to keep an eye on your dog. You want to make sure that your dogs aren't uh, pestering other dogs. So if they're high energy or if they're just, you know, just uh, annoying a dog, being a nuisance. Some dogs just, uh, they'll play with toys and another dog just wants to constantly get that toy. It's okay if they're having fun, but again, you want to make sure that you're being responsible, you keep an eye on your dog and making sure that they're uh, being fair and respectful to everyone else. So these two here are probably going to go at it for a little while, but this is, uh, this is what I mean by Gatsby's high energy. He will bounce and Harley's just going to keep coming to me because she's kind of tired of it. So those are things to consider. Um, try to, when that happens, I will just kind of step into them and kind of let him know that, Hey, you got to calm down. Sorry. And, uh, just be responsible with your uh, dogs, guys. Uh, I can't think of anything else to add to the whole dog park uh, saga here. But any questions, comments, concerns, shoot them in a message. Like it, guys. A lot of you guys are watching my videos and not liking them. So either I'm doing a really bad job or you're forgetting. So uh, definitely send out uh, that like so I know that uh, you guys are enjoying this. And uh, I'll keep posting. All right, guys. Have a good one. Peace.